Hello, this is Hawkeye V, and today we are going to be going to our slash liminal space. If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. Memories. Don't you love them? Hotel hallways. Oh my goodness, this brings back so many memories. I remember these places in a swimsuit, dripping wet. You would just need to go use the restroom. Dang, that is some deeply inset memories. A hallway from a cinema. I guess we're going to see a lot of hallways today. The way that it just goes, and then it just suddenly stops with darkness. That is pretty uncanny. Even at angle, it's still the same. It just stops. Complete darkness. A snowy night. It's night time. It's snowing all outside. But don't worry. The light is still shining. Just for you. And this has a lot more art to it, but it's still pretty interesting. Early morning drive. Okay. This is actually really familiar, and I don't even drive. Dress a road. Not much around, a whole bunch of soap o, o lines. And it's just a little bit overcast. Dang, even Minecraft is turning into liminal spaces. They've got a woodland mansion here. I think that's what that is. Some liminal art, we've got... What is that? The fact that it's empty is what really it, it hits, but like... The stuff itself doesn't seem all that interesting. No, for real, what the fuck are those? They almost look like those hospital things. Ah uh, yes, a chair in, in a locker room. That is uh, almost unnatural and creepy. Just that it's just a random old fashioned chair like that that looks really comfy, but then you, it's in a room that doesn't seem like it would make sense it, for it. Where does the tunnel lead? I'm not seeing the tunnel, it's probably right there or something. I'm seeing this huge mountain and then just the sea of fog before you get it, it breaks in it from uh, huge ass mountains and stuff. That's beautiful. On the way to a dead disappointment, look at those halls. This doesn't give off the same vibe as the other ones earlier, but they are still long, kind of unsettling halls. Abandoned library at night. I feel like we've seen an abandoned library or two. But yeah, this is uh, really pretty. It's nice and empty, and there's a lot of uh, stuff here that makes it feel like a place that would exist a long time ago. Which makes sense since the library is dying because capitalism is ruining the freaking world. It in every possible way it can. A parking garage hallway. Who the hell designed these lights? First of all, they're completely useless because I can't see the bottom of the floor. And secondly, they are, are, are designed in so much an, an unnatural way that... Uh, so why don't they, they can't light anything up?
There's a ladder leading up to above of a ceiling. What is it? A classroom? A bathroom? A back room. What the heck is with that? What? What is this room? Why is everything so high up? And there's a thing attached to these floors. I think it's what what allows them to flush or something. And it's so far away from the actual toilet. It is ridiculous. And yeah, it's it's a bathroom, but who cares? Want to play some bowling? I don't know, it looks pretty abandoned right now. Ah, I miss bowling. This does indeed bring back some memories. It's, ama it's amazing that we were able to be completely isolated in a place where it's no freaking walls. But there we were, in bowling alleys. Yeah. I was walking near a village near Strasbourg, France, when I saw this little garden house that looked a bit out of place, but I can't tell why. I can tell you why. It's because uh, you, it's because there's nothing around it, even though you expect it to be surrounded by something, anything. And you're going to say, no, it isn't, but you literally said you couldn't tell why, so why did you ask my opinion? Don't say you didn't. The final few streetlights before a long, dark road. Seems like a metaphor, but it's quite literally the final few streetlights. That is classic live no and bad city planning. Into the forest. Alright, I do not like forests that are all just one kind of tree. Like, forests are supposed to have variety, that's what uh, uh, makes life happen. But then the forest is with only one kind of tree? That means that someone died in the forest and nobody will find their body. This is edited and fake, and... It's a water. It's a floor covered in water. I always hate when that happens. <sighs> happens more than you think in the back rooms. Obviously, you go up the stairs. I mean, the floor covered in water is is creepier than the stairs, and also the stairs aren't wet. Probably, even though they're carpeted. Some strange rooms from where I used to work. Hmm. So we're sh so we're, we're sharing some actual real life back rooms. Look at this. Oh gosh. Where's the actual walls? Is this just an best an asbestos room? Ah yes, asbestos cancer for the whole entire family. Let's go. Oh, that's really unsettling. I don't know why you would want to keep working there. Sunrise through the fog. You know, being from where I am, almost every morning is a foggy morning and the sunrise just really makes it, it beautiful. I mean, some days it gets so foggy that when I look outside, I can see that it's voiding outside. There's just nothing out there. Maybe I can catch a snippet of a nearby of the nearest trees, but that's about it. <sighs> I 
Drama Cafe, a French TV show from the 2000s. Hmm. That's an interesting spot. Only two coffee cups just sitting there. Well, that kind of ruins it. This entire experience is supposed to be no oh, people. And you add people. That's that's illegal. Bad. Stop it. Get some help. All right, um, we've got another long hallway. That is a long hallway. Yeah, I'm running down that. I'm not fucking walking. I remember when I was in school and my teachers were like, don't run in the halls. And I was like, screw you. I'm going to run in the halls anyway. Hell, I remember having Heelys back then. I used them to run faster. I didn't know how to actually use them right. I never figured it out. And I think I outgrew them, so I never will. Those are some really long and creepy halls. It goes on. Oh, jeez. What is this? This is like an apartment complex? Oh, Lemel Spaces from an anime. We don't see anime much when we're talking about level or spaces now, do we? <sighs> computer, computer. My computer wants to be stupid today. You might have seen something that we are going to get to, believe me, don't worry. We're going by new for a reason. Great. Something is slowing my computer down massively. <sighs> All right, we'll get there. Move. Oh, underground pathway. Oh, we already we already saw that.
I'm not even showing things right anymore. No, I said no. Okay, this one as well. Oh, it's a hallway. I say it was in a lot of anime. There's plenty of anime with school hallways. Are you kidding? It's like 90% of anime. Next thing you know, they're gonna take a screenshot from Persona 5 when you're like in the middle of the city and be like, yeah, this is a level of space. And it's, like, and it's gonna be like, no, it isn't. I get wanting it to say it's a liminal space when it's in popular media, but they probably didn't mean in a for it to be. It's just a transitional space. Uh, I guess it isn't a liminal space. What thoughts does this image evoke for you? Bad times. The colors. They look not okay for some reason. Freaking flies. Anyway, nice. A ah, long, long hallway. Minecraft is oddly nostalgic today. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, if you go like into old worlds on Minecraft, you will get some massive nostalgia. I mean, heck, if you just go on the world on, in Minecraft that you liked anyway, a lot of them are going to be quite the nostalgia dumps for you. Unfortunately, I can't do that at properly because, well, one, I don't really save my worlds for long. I delete them, like, constantly because my computer doesn't have that much memory. And two... My computer can't handle anything. This is about the most it can handle. My stairs lit up with east with urban lamps on a night. That looks really nice. <laughs> Back rooms. Okay, whatever. It's a hallway. Hey, bud. It's not the back rooms. Saying all the most spaces are the back rooms is just annoying. It completely he forgets the main reason that the back rooms were creepy in the first place. That just looked wrong. A perfectly straight hallway with no deviation ends or any curvature? Of course it's wrong! That is against the entire thesis of nature. I'm joking around. Frog Park in Germany. Frog Park? What? That looks so interesting. And also, we finally have a freaking liminal spaces that aren't just for Americans. Streets at 2 a.m. That is right for 2 a.m. What sort of boring dystopia are we living in? <sighs> well, I do like, like how empty it is. Wanna go swimming? Oh, yes.
The classic liminal pools. I love of and hate this because so many memories of me having to swim in the fake sky. The fake skies! Oh my goodness, the walls painted skies! I remember that from my childhood. Not at a pool, but elsewhere. But swimming pools and like hotels and stuff were always fun. This is a lot of liminal pools. Pools that bring back so many memories. Why does that one have a really long shadow on it? It looks like it has a fish in it. I always found David Inshaw's art very liminal. I don't know who David Inshaw is, but given that I said their name and they're apparently the artist for this, I gave them credit. That's totally how it works. I'm gonna have to look them up, ain't I? Wow, that is really pretty. Well, I'm making sure nobody knows it's mine. I mean, no, I make sure that everyone knows it isn't mine. Sorry. Wow. Yeah, that is really liminal. Even though it has people in it, which isn't supposed to be in liminal spaces, it's still really interesting. Huh. Because I wonder if it, if like, this is just a, 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 just scenery that they had when they were young. Or how they remember something from when they were a kid. So glad I found this, son. I used to ta love taking pics of places like this. Never knew there was a name for it. Here's one from a few years ago. I don't know why you're glad you found a sun, but I think there's only one sun. All other others are just called stars. Oh yeah, that's really neat. Demolition, Demol Demolition Survey 3 con this concrete jungle map is so liminal. Oh yeah, absolutely. I'm loving this already. Yep. Not gonna watch that. It was our original property, don't you know? An underground disuse, an abandoned disused underground bunker. I heard of a lot of people making bunkers because they were afraid of the end of days. I mean, I think they still are, and they're still hiding in their bunkers until. Well, they run out of food and then they, they come back out to sneakily grab as much food as they possibly can. Anyway, old pizza joint. Uh, I remember when restaurants had actually fun interiors with colors and stuff. I'm kind of like... Wishing that we could bring that back somehow. Like how McDonald's had those freaking uh, weird psychedelic interiors. I'm looking at pictures of that and it's like, that looks so fun. White hallways and a door. Just the entrance to the bathroom of an old mall. Right? An apartment building entrance in Milano. White hall, fluorescent light. Hmm. Seems like when, when a lot of people hear liminal, they hear something else as well. Parking a lot in a mall. I remember these huge parking lots. I never go out anymore, so I never see them, but I'm quite sure they still exist and they are still very commonly used for most people. Remember when arcades were a thing? This abandoned arcade is still running? That. That is amazing. Authorized personnel only, and it's an empty hallway that looks so dark and creepy. We are not watching videos. You lot can. I'm not going to end it in these videos.
if we already are making a video, I can't watch a video while making a video. Bayview, North Pacific. Hey, that's my area. I should not have said that loud. All right. Wow. That is a beautiful picture of the sun through the clouds. Anyway. Wow, we were here for a lot longer than I thought we were. I'm guessing because it's lag. Anyway. That was r slash liminal space. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!